everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. So 12 Days of Christmas continues on Patreon and this is actually day two. So we're painting this beautiful watercolor card and I'd like to invite you to join me for this series. Uh, it's happening right now on Patreon. So www.patreon.com slash Maria Morjane. Now in this video, I wanted to teach you how you can paint white snow. So you don't want to just use paper white, the whiteness of the paper to paint the snow and just leave it like that. Uh, it works, of course, for cards and things like that, but it's better if we actually use a color or colors to recreate that white and watercolors. Now, why am I using all these yellows uh, and some blues? That's because uh, the snowman is holding a crystal ball and it's actually a, a light or something like that inside of it and it's reflecting over the snowman. So I need to capture that in my painting. I need to show all that glow that's going over the snowman. Whenever I paint something white in watercolors, I always refer to the color wheel and I go with the primary colors such as blue, yellow, red. So this is color wheel. We have primary colors, red, blue, yellow. When you mix the three colors together, you create a shade of gray. And it's just a matter of how much red or blue or yellow you have that to determine if it's a yellow, gray, a blue, gray, or red, gray. So there's nothing more that I'm doing in this painting other than playing with those three colors. So yellow, blue, red. However, because we're painting with watercolors, I like to add an additional shade of yellow, for example. Now it's very easy to change the shade of yellow if you add a bit of red to your yellow. And this blue-violet that you see, that shade of purple, that's a combination of blue and red together. So the color palette stays pretty simple for this painting. I am using additional colors such as Van Dyke Brown for the hat's rim or uh, we have like the background later you see it. But those are like the extras that it's really up to you if you whether you add it or not because as long as you have the yellow, blue, red, you can create the entire painting. So you can paint the snowman. So here, as I'm painting the rim of the hat, I painted it wet on wet. And then before the paper was too dry, that's when I started adding uh, more like a cream top like ratio between water and paint for those lines. And then I began lifting colors. So here we have the arm of the snowman and it's the same thing. I'm gonna start with those yellowish tones, which is like a combination of a couple yellows. And what you see now is a shade of gray. It's kind of like a blue gray. And this is new, actually. This is cobalt green. This is cobalt green, just to add like a cooler shade of blue green in there. So now for the scarf, I'm wetting it first, and then I'm gonna start with yellow undertones. But the yellow is slightly blended also with the red. Now here's the key, and it's very important. Try to mix your colors on the paper, not your palette. You want to see the separation of colors. The separation of colors is important, not only to avoid the muddiness of colors that can easily happen when you mix the colors on your palette, but also to create natural shades of yellow or red or the transitions between the colors. That's why you want to mix colors on the paper. Here I started adding the darks, which is nothing more than just the primary colors together with maybe slight addition of the uh, Van Dyke Brown for these lines. And the reason the paint is not spreading much is because the paper is almost dry. It feels kind of damp. And the thing is that I don't have much water on my brush. Actually, this is more like a cream top like ratio between water and paint. If you're not familiar with the terminology I use, I refer to dairy. So something that feels like water, then milk, then half and half, heavy cream and cream top. I have all this information on Patreon. This is a cool part actually, how to create a fluffy pom-pom. All you need is just to wet that pom-pom, but also, the background. You also want to wet the background. And then when you begin applying the colors 
towards the pump pump, you need to use a heavier ratio between water and paint, something that I call cream top like ratio between water and paint. So I'm starting here with undertones, so yellow and then red, but for like a glow or shadows, you can add some blue to it as well. So you're applying colors wet on wet, and to control the spreading, the ratio between water and paint is important, but also how you wetted the paper. If you wetted it too long, for example, the paint will still spread too much. Now, how am I going to add background here, right? So about the pom-pom, there's different ways you can go about it. You can simply avoid the pom-pom and go a little bit in between. So you have hard edges, but if you want to make it soft, then you need to wet the pom-pom too as you are winning and painting the background. The tricky part here is that you just need to stay away for, uh, from the pom-pom. So when you apply colors towards the background, you need to have a heavier ratio between water and paint and stay away from the pom-pom so the color doesn't bleed towards the pom-pom. Now here, this is the first layer for the background. However, once I was finished with the painting, I decided to re-wet the background and to apply the second layer. Now the white spots, so the snow that you see over the paper, that snow, I created it by using a wax stick. Now for the blues, this is a combination of like four colors actually. It's blue and red, but I want different shades of blue. So I'm using here indigo, I'm using here fallow blue, some cobalt blue, and then quinacridone red. So now when you can uh, see that pom-pom, how I formed it. Again, if you don't want the hard edges, then it's an easy fix, really, because uh, before you apply the colors towards the background, just make sure that pom-pom is wet, too. So you wet the background and you wet the pom-pom. But when you apply colors towards the background, you stay away from the pom-pom. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you would join me during this uh, holiday series painting your own Christmas cards. And again, the series is only on Patreon and please let me know if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.